hello everybody today we will see the third topic in fourth unit the base rule in probabilistic reasoning with some example in the last video we have seen the introduction about probability and some important terms used in probability theory like the random variables a prior probability post prior probability product rules and axioms of probability in this video we will see some more details about the probability and the important base rule in probability theory before entering into base rule we will recollect uh, something about uh, axioms of probability because this is very basic and important one the first axiom is 0 less than or equal to p of a which is less than or equal to 1 here a is any random variable for example this is 1 and the p of a is something inside this one that is any fractional value will be assigned to p of a the second axiom is p of true is equal to one and p of false is equal to true and the third axiom is p of a union b is equal to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b so here uh, red color oval is a and the green color oval is b that is p of a and p of b and this is the p of a union b another example p of a equal to 1 gives b equal to 1 that is the fraction of cases where a is true if b is true that is what is the probability of a is true if b is true probability of a is true is 0 0.2 that is 20 percent chance and the probability of A is true gives B is true is 0 0.5 that is 50 percent chance. The next one is P of A comma B is equal to P of A gives B into P of B is one of the most uh, powerful rule in the probabilistic reasoning. Using the axiom we can prove P of A is equal to 1 minus P of not A. So we can prove the prior probability that means the degree of belief in an event in the absence of any other information that is without the enough information we need to conclude the given statement. Example, P of rain tomorrow is 0 0.8 that is 80 percent chance of rain tomorrow. P of no rain tomorrow is 0 0.2 that is 20 percent chance. So rain is 80 percent and no rain is 20 percent. And next we should compute the probability of an event based on the given knowledge of another event. For example, P of raining gives sunny that is what is the probability of raining if the weather is sunny and next one is p of raining gives cloudy that is what is the probability of raining if weather is cloudy and uh, next one is probability of raining is cloudy and cold that is the probability of raining if weather is cloudy and cold uh, in some cases given knowledge of one or more random variables we can improve upon our prior belief of another random variable let us see one example for this we all like to watch movies and sometimes we can sleep inside the uh, that is in between the movie here uh, the slept in movie and liked movie are random variables the probability of uh, slept in movie is 0 0.5 that is 50 percent and the probability of slept in movie gives liked movie is 1 by 3 that is 33 percent and uh, probability of didn't see sleep in movie gives liked movie is 2 by 3 that is 0 0.67 which is 67 percent and this is the probability distribution table for the random variables liked movie and slept in movie. And now let us see base rule. Base rule was invented by Thomas Bayes in the year 1764. This is one of the most important rule in 
artificial intelligent it is just, which is derived from the chain rule p of a comma b is equal to p of a gives b into p of b which is equal to p of b gives a into p of a this uh, powerful rule the base theorem is derived the base theorem is p of a gives b is equal to p of b gives a into p of a divided by p of b in the probability theory p of b gives a is the probability of evidence given the hypothesis p of a is the prior probability of hypothesis p of b is prior probability of evidence p of a gives b is the probability of hypothesis a conditional on new piece of, new piece of evidence b we can rewrite the base theorem p of cos gives fx is equal to p of effect gives cos into p of cos divided by p of effect base rule allows unknown probabilities to be computed from known conditional probabilities which is usefully in the very casual direction next we will see one example for base rule the hypothesis for flu based on symptoms you are having some symptoms like running nose and body pain and got doubt of flu which is a kind of fever so you google the symptoms then you find three things the first one is symptom of flu that is pfa the value is 0.00001 and next one is probability of symptoms which gives flu that is pfb gives a is 0.95 that is 95 percent and next one is you have symptom of flu that is you are having some symptoms like headache or running nose or body pain and that symptoms gives flu that is pfb is 0.01 that is 1 in 100 people with this data we need to compute pfa gives b pfa gives b is 0.95 into 0.00001 divided by 0.1 that is 0.00095 which is less than 1 in 1000 people in the base rule the common mistake is p of a gives b is not equal to p of b gives a here the value of p of a gives b is 0.00095 which is not equal to p of b gives a that is 0.95 0.95 is 95% and 0.00095 is less than 1 in 1000%. I think you can understand what is Bayes theorem. And in the next video, we will see what is Bayesian network and the syntax and semantics of Bayesian network. The question: What is Bayes theorem? Students write the answer in the comment box thank you all of you